Welcome students. My name is David Pamenter and I'm the Audiovisual and Multimedia Officer here at the University of Edinburgh Business School. Today I'm going to talk to you about a lecture capture pilot. This pilot is going to start from the beginning of this term, which is now. In the first semester, the pilot will include students who are doing finance modules. This may be extended in later semesters to include other courses. However, not all finance modules will be recorded. It will be on a per lecturer basis, depending on whether the lecturers have opted to take part in this pilot. So, what I'm going to do now is to show you the video player window and some of its features. So, I have already logged in to learn, and down the left hand side, you can see the courses that I am associated with. So, I'm going to click on course 2. Panopto 02. Here you can see that in the course content window there is a video called the legal aspects of lecture capture. To view the video simply click on this link. This has now opened a new tab showing your lecture capture. What I'm going to do now is go through some of the features um, of this lecture capture viewing page. So let's look at the left hand side. Here you can see the video window. If you want to view the video in a large size you can just double click on that. That will go full screen. To go back to your viewing window press escape and that takes you back. Go through the controls here. These are fairly standard. Here you have the play button and the pause button. Here you have a timeline bar. Here's the time of the video where you are at the moment, 5 seconds in, with 6 minutes 14 of the whole video. Here you have the volume button and this button takes the video full screen again very similarly to double clicking on the video. Below this you have 5 tabs. In the contents tab you have chapter points. These are determined by the headings of the PowerPoint slides. If a PowerPoint has not been used by the lecturer, they may put in their own chapter points or there may not be any. If there are chapter points, this is going to let you quickly and easily find specific bits of the video. Beside this, you have the Notes tab. You should be able to pick the channel My Notes. Click here. My notes. Click on login. It should take you to another page. Make sure it says login using Blackboard, nothing else. Click login. And this should take you back to the video window. Okay, so here we are back to the video window. As you can see, the channel now says Blackboard and it has my UUN, which is Pinocchio Student 02 for this tutorial. At the bottom here, you can type in any notes you want. So for example, if you thought something was going to be in part of the exam, let's just drag the timeline on a wee bit here. You could type in here, remember, oh, Remember to, to revise this. I hit enter. Now as you can see, it's put my note in. Not only that, it's also time stamped it. So you can double click on your notes to go to that specific part in the video. You can also edit and delete these. Now your notes are private unless you unlock the padlock. As you can see there, you hover over things and it actually tells you what to do anyway. So if I click this, this will make my notes public. You click this again, it will make your notes private. So let's move on to the next tab. You have the comments tab. All your comments are public. However, almost all the videos that you'll be viewing will be shared through Learn. So it's likely that only your class and tutor, basically people that are doing your module, can see these comments. 
you can use a comments board as a discussion board if you're stuck on specific things. Try and get some feedback from other students. And the search tab can be very useful as well. What happens is if PowerPoint has been used, is all the words from the PowerPoint has been captured and stored within this video window. So you can search for specific keywords and find them within your video. I'm going to do a wee demonstration here. Um, I've put the word Apple randomly throughout my slides. So I'm now going to search for the word Apple. And it just takes a few seconds. And here you can see that listed are all the slides that contain the word Apple. Again, you can just double click on these slides and it will take you, take you directly to these slides. Okay, well, that's it apart from the info tab on the left hand side. If you click here, all it tells you is the session and also the folder that the video has come from. Moving on to the right hand side. At the bottom of the screen, we have a timeline and snapshots. Again, you can drag the cursor to see the different snapshots and you can double click on any slide that you might want to jump straight to. On the top here, you can see that there's different tabs. The number of tabs will depend on how many content channels your lecture has recorded and this will vary from lecture to lecture. On the screen capture tab, again you can double click and it will go full screen, escape to go back again. If PowerPoints have been recorded, the screen capture tab, if it has been used, and the slides tab are likely to be the same. With the slides tab, you can't double click on them to make them bigger. You have to use the magnifier here to zoom in and to zoom out again. You may also have a tab called Object Video. You can click here. In this case, the Object Video tab can be any other video source that your lecture has captured. Here you can see this is actually a capture from the document camera that sits on the desk. Well, that's about it on the different things that you can do within this video window. I'm now going to talk about some of the legal aspects. Your lecturer will let you know if a session is being recorded at the start of your lecture. If you ask a question in class, it may be picked up on the microphone. However, we have tried hard to make sure that this is reduced to a minimum. If you have any issues with being captured, either voice or image, please speak to your lecturer prior to the class. Lastly, these lectures have been produced for you. Please respect your lecturer by not copying or sharing this content as it is against university policy and copyright law. Thank you and enjoy your lecture captures.